last minute vlog Monday. This one's gonna be short. I'm not here by myself and I've been here for a while, but how's everybody doing? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party, doing some last minute shopping here at Lowe's, getting things. It's snowing, so thought it'd be nice to sort of get out of the house, enjoy the weather a little bit since nobody else is out. And of course, have a look at some plants. Not a ton going on here. Places don't sell a lot of plants this time of year. They kind of cut back on them until, I don't know, February or so. See what's going on outside though. Look at, look at it all snow. It's so pretty. It was snowing heavier than this, but it's still pretty. It's still nice to look at. Oh, these are some cute little anthurums. They're really tiny. Look at how little those are. Oh, and I'm really liking these, by the way. Aren't these cute? Just these little, cute little, like, modern style planters with the succulents in them. I like them a lot. I don't know about all that moss. Probably not a great way to get things going, but they're cute and needs more light. But still, really nice looking plants, aside from needing more light. I just, I like the concept. It's a nice concept. I was actually here just to get a simple pot for a cactus that I have that it's just fallen over. It's gotten kind of top heavy, so I was like, I'm at least just gonna get like something little, some kind of little clay pot to use that's just heavy. But you can see the clay pots is just, they have the nice looking ones. They're like $41, and then there's the $15 one. I was so tempted to get one of these, but. Like, they're all kind of scratched up. These are cracked, even. You can see the cracks in there. I'm like, well, can't do that. Not for $40. I don't think so. Not one for $15 can just get one of these little guys. So, threw one of those in the cart. That'll hold the plant in. It's very pretty out here. It's not that cold. It's like 30, 28 maybe. Feels okay. Run home now and do some things around the house and... Maybe some decorating? Probably not. I need to stop saying I'm going to decorate because it's every day. Um, does anybody have any opinions on the dyed poinsettias? I don't mind them. I think they should put something on there to let people know that they're actually white, like going to stay white or turn white next year, but it doesn't hurt the plant. So who cares? I think it's pretty. It's fine. It, they have some blue ones. I was like, this is beautiful. It doesn't remind me of Christmas at all, but it's absolutely stunning. I like the colors and everything, so who cares? I mean, I do actually just kind of like the regular white and red ones, or the pink ones, or the ones with the swirls in them. Oh, I kind of like this one. That one looks nice. Okay, I didn't come here for a poinsettia, but I think I might be leaving with one. Yeah, that's pretty. It's got a little bag and everything. Ooh, I like this one too. That one's really pretty. Now, it wouldn't be a trip to Lowe's if I don't end up leaving with a few plants that I had no intention of getting when I came in the store. I have had my eyes out for some poinsettias, so, like, it's okay. And I was hoping to find some of the red and green ones, so that's actually even better. It's just kind of cold. It's not the best time to be buying plants, but the car's on right now. I've turned the keyless entry on, or the auto starter. That's what it's called. So it's preheating. So I just gotta walk out to the car really fast, that's all. That seems really cool, doesn't it? But I mean, still, I don't know. I just, I think that would be so much fun to just walk around with my own coffee maker. Totally unnecessary. I think that's what makes it fun. Also, I'm sorry I'm kind of hyper, but it's been a few days. I've been kind of busy, I haven't eaten much, and I've had a lot of caffeine. Oh, breakfast. Yeah, no. Family's in town and whatnot, so that's the... I hear my sister's dog. Buddy's here. Did I say we were going home? Let's do that. Or somewhere else. I don't know what's happening. It's last minute vlog Monday. And by go home, I meant stop at Bath and Body Works because again, nobody else is out doing anything. So it's a good time to stock up on some candles. Um, I haven't smelled a Gardini candle that I really liked since Illuminations went out of business back during the recession. This one's good. It doesn't smell too fake. It's very Gardenia forward. I don't know how to describe a smell. It smells like gardenia and not fake flowers. Oh my gosh. Smell it. You smell that? It smells fantastic. It smells like a flower shop. What's your favorite candle smell? Mine was the gardenia from Illuminations and the pineapple cilantro from Illuminations. And I have not found any that smell that good since then. 
And I have now smelled so many things, I'm pretty sure I broke my snooter. I can't, there's no more sniffing. I can't smell anything anymore. Oh, you know what? No, it was the lavender chamomile. Chamomile lavender. They got rid of that one a long time ago. That smelled amazing. I still have the jar and there's like a little bit of wax in it. Sometimes I sniff it just to feel happy. It smells so good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. this is cool. It's not, I don't know, about $44 cool, but really pretty. Who doesn't need a hollow glitter lamp for their hollow glitter? That's hard to say. Hollow glitter lamp. Hollow glitter lamp for your candles. This lens gets so dirty so quickly. It feels good to be home. I just went out for a cup of coffee and then just all the things happened. That happens, you know, when you're out with other people. I have another video I'm currently working on. Been doing a little bit of watering. I felt bad. I couldn't come out here yesterday. I was away all day doing things, and then I, just from being on one day, my poor little Basil, look how thirsty she got. I gave her a little drink, it's already bone dry. Okay, need to water that again. Yeah, this morning it had a little drink, and apparently that just wasn't quite enough for it. Go ahead and try that again. I cannot believe how much that soil dried out in just a few hours, but it is, the air's kind of dry. The you know, there's only one humidifier out here. The temperatures are a little bit low because, you know, there's winter happening out there, so not totally shocked by it. I do usually avoid watering, though, when it's not warm. Right now, it's 70 in here, but it got down to 66 last night. So a little bit cooler than normal, and that's typically when I back off of watering because it's a lot easier for things to rot when it's, you know, cool and things are wet. I want to avoid that. But if they're thirsty, then that's different and need to... Give him a drink, get a little bit of water, it'll perk up. You'll be all right, poor little basil. That should be enough though, that should do the trick. My nose is all kinds of congested. I think it's from all the candle sniffing I was just doing. This leaf finally opened up. Looking good, very pretty. It was nice, run into the store and I grabbed those points. Oh my gosh, the poinsettias are still in the car. What's wrong with me? They're okay. It was only for like a couple minutes. The car was still warm. I ran out there in a panic with my sandals on and everything. The snow and my neighbors were in their driveway shoveling. They're like, aren't you cold? And I was like, shut up. Yes, obviously I'm cold, but I'm only mad for a minute. I'm not changing clothes to run out to the car. I'd rather just suck it up and deal with it. I need to put on a whole wardrobe just to grab some flowers out of the car. Okay, so there's that. Actually a good thing that it's not really hot in here right now because that would be a bit of a shock for him. I am though, I'm one of those people where when it's cold, sometimes I'll be like, I don't need a jacket, it's fine. Like, I'd rather just be cold when I run out to the car and then run from the car into the store than have to lug a jacket around with me everywhere I go. And that depends on how cold it is too. But usually if it's like, 25 and up. I'm like, eh, I'll just suck it up and deal with it. It's fine. That's not how things work for plants, but they're okay. Like I said, it wasn't even cold in the car. It was only for a few minutes, so they're okay. Oh, and to clarify, I do actually like wear clothes though. I, as soon as I come home, I'm like, pants off. No more. Just wear your shorts because it gets, even though it's not hot in here right now, it typically is pretty warm in here in my little bubble and I'm not like walking around and my regular pants and a sweater because it's hot. You get it. You understand what I'm saying. I don't want to be. I don't want to be sweating while I'm in here. But then the problem is, anytime I need to go out and it's cold, you have to change clothes. But it's all right. Oh, they're so pretty. I love poinsettias. There's just something about them that's just so classic and Christmassy about them. Wish they'd give variety names. This is a common one though. It's been around, I remember seeing it when I was a little kid, or at least something similar to it, not to say that they haven't improved on it, and that maybe this one, these here, a different sport of the other red variegated poinsettias, I don't know, but they're just pretty and they make me very happy. Nothing wrong with just a classic red and classic white poinsettia. I think that that's great, I love them. I also just like this variegation though, because you kind of get the best of both worlds. And having that white in there, the speckles make them stand out a little bit, give some contrast. Every single leaf is a little bit different. I feel like I could do something kind of cool with the poinsettias and the orchids. I already have a plan for these orchids though, so I'm probably not going to do that. But the container 
what I was going to do with these orchids, I might have to change just because the container I was going to use isn't anywhere near as big as I thought it was. And so I might, I don't know, have to improvise some things. That's really neither here nor there. Having a little bit of a plant chat, nerding out with everybody. I actually have to keep this video especially short because I, for some reason, decided to try a new file format that's going to be gigantic and take a long time to upload if it's too long. And it's just a last minute Monday video. Just checking in, saying hi to everybody. How y'all doing? What's going on? Hope everybody's week is off to a great start. And then back onto the poinsettias. I do think I'm going to move these inside. I know that there's always a lot of controversy around their toxicity. The thing is, if you do some reading on it and always check your facts. Oh, we have an all white flower there. What's that about? Generally, poinsettias, though they are a euphorbia, they're not as toxic as considered. Some sites even say it's not even toxic. There's even a guy on YouTube who like eats them. Then there is a study done where they were trying to find the levels. You have like how much you have to eat for it to harm you. And they said apparently that like five to 600 leaves were ingested before there was any effect at all. I don't know with plants in general, I say keep them away from curious mouths regardless, no matter what, just to be safe. I'll be putting these someplace where my cats can't get to them. So I'm not worried about it. I wouldn't really be too worried about it, period. Though I am, like, I have a very unhealthy attachment to my cat, so I wouldn't keep these anywhere near her, just in case. They can cause, ingestion can cause a, um, irritation in the mouth, rashes, nausea, vomiting. So seeing that in the same article, where two paragraphs before that they said it's non-toxic, I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. If something's non-toxic, it shouldn't be doing all that stuff. Just saying. There's probably a different definition of toxicity they're going off of, like something that actually like mutilates cells and whatnot, causes organ damage of some sort. I don't know, but I think if it can make you sick and throw up, that, 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 that can we not wait? We, we can't call that toxic. No. General consensus seems to be that it's unlikely to cause any harm if ingested, especially if it's just a little bit. But to each his own. Every body is different. Not everybody. Every body of all of our biological systems are a little bit unique and we all have different allergies and someone might be more susceptible to being harmed by something than someone else. If it's, you know, just like mildly toxic, then you just, you never know. Some people can eat like food that's been sitting out all day that you shouldn't eat and be fine. Whereas for most people, that might make them throw up. I've headed into a direction I wasn't expecting. So I'm going to go ahead and just stop right there. I just thought I'd put that out there because whenever I have any talk about poinsettias on the channel, the comments come in about the toxicity and are they dangerous? And it's people don't understand. I don't fully understand um, because I mean, I just haven't read that far into it. Cause like I said, I just, no matter what, I'm keeping my plants away from my pets, whether it's something that they can eat or not. So I just, I don't see a reason for concern, but I know that that's not an option for everybody out there. So I would say uh, do your research just to be safe and find out about things. If you have a pet that has a very weak stomach and seems to get sick very easily, then I, I wouldn't take the risk. That's just me. Although I really wouldn't take the risk, period. Because like I said, I have an extremely unhealthy attachment to my cat. I love these fowls. These phalaenopsis, they're just white, but they're so pretty. Something so clean about those white flowers. Like a clean, crisp, refreshing vibe to them. And there really are countless websites out there that are disproving whether or not they're toxic, saying like, no, it's fine, don't worry about it. So, I mean, that to me says it probably is okay. But there's a lot of pressure doing the YouTube thing. I don't want to say, hey, it's fine, don't worry about it, and then have someone's pet drop dead. Like, that's, no, I can't do that. So just to be safe, keep your plants away from curious mouths. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. I know, random, chaotic, all over the place, but that's the point of the, I don't think I ever even explained that I've been doing these last minute Monday vlogs. I just thought I'd try it out for December, see how it goes, how everybody likes it, that sort of thing. Just short, easy, casual. I just thought it'd be sort of a fun change, see how it goes for a few weeks. Just like last minute, like here's what's going on this morning or today, this afternoon, something like that. Not with any direction or purpose, just 
hangout time, chilling with the plants. You will notice my Vander roots are very white and very dry because it just, it wasn't warm enough to give them a soak, but the temperatures are climbing in here. It's up to 74 now, so I'll go ahead and lower those down. They can have a little bit of a drink, but I'm not gonna soak them for too long, like 10 minutes. I usually, once the roots turn green, I'll give them a few more minutes and then pop them back up. I know, nobody asked, just letting you know, just in case you were curious. Got my social media link down below. You can follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. It makes a big difference for the videos and for the channels, and thank you for it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. There's a lot of fun plant projects going on out here. I'm excited to get some of those videos edited and out to everybody. Hopefully some of those will come out this week, maybe the week after Christmas. I'm not sure yet, just depends. Like I said, the family's in town, so you know kind of have to work at a different pace. And I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye! Bye!